here with senior forward Gianna DeRico. Gianna, uh, a goal and two assists today. How does it feel coming back after a long plane ride from New Mexico and playing overtime nonetheless? It feels it feels really good. Um, at first it was a little rough just because we had a long trip, but um, I feel really great. The whole team did, so it was great. You start your any 10 schedule today and at the same time uh, St. Rose becomes the number one ranked team in the country earlier this afternoon, uh, yet again after spending nine weeks. Uh, what's it like to be the top ranked team in the country heading into your any 10 schedule? It feels phenomenal. It's actually uh, an uplifting um, award and accolade that we uh, accept uh, with welcome arms, but um, it's, it's a high expectation that we set for ourselves and uh, we, we are thrilled to be number one in the nation yet again, so it feels really good. Okay, and uh, you're scheduled to play UMass Lowell here on Friday night again at 5 o'clock. Uh, what do we know about UMass Lowell so far this year, and uh, what is the team going to be preparing for the next couple of days? Uh, well, as a team, we're prepared for one of the hardest games we're going to be playing all season. UMass Lowell is always uh, one of the top competitors in the NE10, and uh, we're in for a battle on Friday. They're, they come to play, it's going to be physical, and it's going to be technically really, really uh, rigorous. So we're going to be training really hard for the next two days to prepare for that game because uh, they're no they're no joke. So, all right, congratulations again, Gianna, and good luck on Friday. Thank you very much.